Well, hey there, garbage lovers, and welcome to another trash talking episode of This Show Is Not Rubbish. Today, we are going to learn how to fly with just a few simple throwaway things uh, a piece of paper, a paper straw, some sticky tape, and one more very important thing. And what would that very important thing be? Well, I'll leave that reveal to that other very important thing, the thing in the bin. <laughs> oh my, uh, you seem to be a little tied up there, thing. <laughs> think we'd better try and get you untangled, while also untangling a few trashy facts. String is a very, 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 very old invention. Scientists recently discovered evidence suggesting that string was being used by humans at least 120,000 years ago. That evidence was a bunch of seashells with microscopic scrapes around various holes suggesting that they had once been threaded on a string, possibly to create a necklace. It seems fashion was an early invention as well. What do you reckon? Should I try and bring back the trend? String is a very, 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 very important invention. Scientists go on and on about how important the invention of fire and the wheel was, but life as we know it is practically unimaginable without string. Just have a look around your room right now. Without thread, your clothes would fall apart. Without laces, your shoes would fall off. Without string, paintings would fall off the wall. We use string to tie things up, attach things, hang things, to create nets, toys, and even musical instruments. <clears throat> string, oh string, what a marvelous thing. <laughs> I actually don't even know how to play the guitar. <laughs> Not that you probably notice. <laughs> String is a very, 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 very useful thing when it comes to setting world records. According to the Guinness World Records website, the biggest ball of string or yarn or thread was 4.03 meters in diameter. I'm going to need a whole stack more string. The longest string of popcorn was 356.76 meters long. Uh, 20 centimetres. Only 35,656 centimetres to go. One for the string, and one for me. And the longest string of licorice was 519 metres long, which is uh, just a little longer than this string of licorice. Of course, I'm being a little loose with the definition of the word string here, but hey, I like licorice, so... The biggest issue when it comes to flying is gravity. That force that tends to pull objects towards other objects. To overcome gravity and to fly, we need an opposing force, something called lift. Here's a little experiment you can try out right now. All you need is a sheet of paper. Do you have one nearby? If not, press pause now and go and grab something. Go on, I'll wait. Rightio then, let's give this a go. Simply rest the paper over your fingers like so, and then blow at and across the top of the paper. <sighs> How weird is that? The paper rises, <sighs> even though I'm blowing right at it. It's totally counterintuitive, does my head in every time. <sighs> but I do love a bit of unexpected science. So what's going on? Well, when air moves quickly, it 
kind of stretches out and drops in pressure. So when I blow across the top of the page, I create an area of fast moving, low pressure air. The air underneath doesn't move, so its pressure doesn't change. As a result, it's at a higher pressure than the air on top. Areas of higher pressure push on things with more force than areas of lower pressure, so the higher pressure air under the page pushes it up. This little bit of science helps us to partially explain how planes lift into the air. Partially. The science is actually incredibly complicated. The wing of a plane is shaped so that air is forced to move more quickly over the top. This creates an area of low pressure air above the wing and higher pressure underneath. The higher pressure air pushes on the wing with more force and lifts it up. Also, the wing of a plane is shaped so that air is forced downwards off the back. As the air is forced down, the plane is pushed in the opposite direction. But this is only part of the story. To fully understand how a plane achieves lift, we also need to consider turbulence and viscosity and vortices and, well, the mathematics is diabolical. But while the science is hard to understand, it's a lot of fun to play with. Watch this. Pretty nifty, hey? To make this wing on a string, simply draw a line two centimeters from the end of a sheet of paper. Draw another line through the center of the page. Turn the sheet over and draw a line through the center of that side of the page. Turn the page back and then fold it in half. Take the top half to the bottom half so that it lines up with the two centimeter line. Find the highest point in the bump of the wing and then mark the point where it intersects with the line you drew through the center of the page. Carefully use a wooden skewer to poke a hole through the paper at this point. Then poke a hole in the paper directly below, once again along the line that you drew through the center of the page. Poke a paper straw through the holes and then use a little tape to hold it in place. Thread some string through the straw and then spin! Just don't get too carried away and spin for too long. <clears throat> Ooh, I think I may have eaten too many licorice strings. So the great big really important question is, once you're done with your string, into which bin should you chuck it? It's time to play a little game I like to call which bin? So our choices, as always, are a general curbside waste bin, a curbside recycling bin, a curbside green bin, or some other bin or place. Well, what do you reckon? Into which bin should we throw our string? I'll give you a few moments to have a little think. So have you thunk of an answer? String should be disposed of in your general waste bin. 100% definitely under no circumstances ever throw string into the recycling, as it can cause all sorts of diabolical knots and uh, tangles, tying things up and even damaging machinery. If the string is still in good condition though, consider rolling it around something and using it again another day. Or do what I'm doing and make yourself a huge, enormous ball of string. Well, it's not huge and enormous yet, but uh, one day, I mean, I have a world record to beat. Recycling and waste management are evolving sciences and rules vary from country to country, city to city, and council to council. Always check with your local council as to what thing should go in which bin. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and then head over to our website and social media pages for more garbagey goodness.